Welcome back everybody to Tomodachi Life episode 4. And this episode is going to be structured a little bit differently because I've been like checking in on everyone over the course of about like 8 or 9 days and now I'm going to condense it all into one video. Let's get into it. So to start things off, we get our very first love heart. And who else is in love other than our favourite, David the Elephant. It's finally happened! It's finally happened, we have a love. Who is it? I can't remember who this is. David the Elephant's in love with someone! Oh. It's nothing. I just need some <laughs> time alone. No, you don't. You need to tell me who you like. I have feelings <laughs> Yes! Of course oh, I'll help you, me. David! How should you- Okay, I don't remember any of this. Um, hmm. How would the Queen like to be, uh... Asked out. I mean, she is royalty, so I say be impressive. Where should I tell them? Where should you tell them? On the beach, most definitely. Should I get changed? First? Should I get changed? Um, sure. Let's get you in like some fine attire. Oh, I can't go shopping, and there's there's nothing. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. I'll get myself ready <laughs> and I'll go do it. Go on, David. <laughs> Go on, David. I believe in you. The first couple. Oh, his heart's beating. Bless him. Oh my god. She didn't even show up. <gasps> I didn't know that could happen! Oh no! David! No! <gasps> he has a sadness meter! Oh! You can't! Oh come on, you can't just... Bring a uh, three. Wow, three new places. You can't just have a news flash, Steve Harvey, when David the Elephant's sad. It took five years to build, but the theme park named Letter Island. It took five years to build. The series is like three weeks old. Okay. Nice. We got all our ideas from different theme parks. So it should literally knock your socks off. Right, okay. Confident promise indeed. Okay, However, fair enough. Some attractions are guaranteed to draw large crowds on weekends and holidays. Thanks for watching. Oh, poor David! Another go away! Steve again! Some breaking news just in. Oh, don't, don't rub it in! And they used to the Queen! An anonymous female islander sent a request not to post that kind of thing. However, when she found out she was at the top of the ranking, she changed her mind. It's the Queen, because she's the only one who's been, like, asked out. Or, she was going to! Thanks for watching. I feel so bad for David. I want to go cheer him up right now. Okay, well, first, let's get some donations. 76 quid, not bad. Right, I want to go make sure David's okay. Oh, David. I think I'm doing okay. Oh, David, you don't need to. Oh, oh he's thinking of the queen. I was turned down. No. Go for it oh. again. No, don't just sigh. Oh. oh, okay. Right, let's cheer him up. Would you like some salmon manure? Not not manure as in shit, but you know, however you pronounce that. He likes it. Does that cheer you up? Okay, good. Good food cheers you up. What else could I do? Um, oh, he likes his head being rubbed. I remember that. He likes this. <laughs> oh, bless him. Uh, have, have some tea. David the elephant. Oh. Oh, Davey ate the cup as well. He liked that as well. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Can I give him... Um, what haven't I given anyone yet? A music box. That will calm him down, I reckon. Would you mind if I listen to it? Of course, David. Of course you can listen to it. Oh. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, bless him. <laughs> oh, David. It's so relaxing. Isn't it? Yeah, it is, David. It is. I'm going to make something really nice. I bet you are, David. Nothing like a good cooking of a mi- Oh, look at him. Go. And I'm done. 
Fucking ew. <laughs> After David's sadness, I went to go and visit Belle Delphine and she wanted a new hat. And finally, someone actually appreciated the thing that I gave them. Finally, someone actually appreciates the clothing that I give them. And she leveled up and in celebration, I gave her her favorite catchphrase. <laughs> then Luigi decided to perform a funny face for us. We haven't had this before. Yeah, go on then, Luigi. Here's how it went. Uh, wow. You think? Uh, it's... it's beautiful. I'm happy you liked it. Yep. Loved it, mate. I'd like a mushroom. V Mario asking for mushrooms. First he wants to get to know Princess Peach and now he's asking for mushrooms. Bro, this game, this game knows. Dr. Phil then asked for a new room. You know, just a cheap request. I'd like a new look for my room. God, new hat, new clothes, new look for his room. You're never satisfied, are you? Prick. So I gave him the most fitting one I could find. Just for that, Dr. Phil, you can have this. Thank you for the new room. It's pretty nice. You're welcome, I guess. Then, despite his sadness, David the Elephant was still able to pop into the newsroom and give us all a newsflash that the Observation Tower was now open. So we played a few games of Quirky Questions, where basically you just ask someone a question and then they answer it to the best of their ability. And, um, we've learnt some home truths. <laughs> wow, Daisy, you slag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, obviously, Belle Delphine's gonna put her hand up, but me. <laughs> oh. Absolutely no one. The next day, a couple of friendships blossomed. Mario wanted to be friends with David the Elephant, but unfortunately. Oh, <gasps> no! We're not quite friends yet. That's the first friendship request that's failed. And he's not getting along with his girlfriend. Oh. And after adding the three most recent US presidents to the mix, Obama wanted to be friends. Also with David the Elephant. God, he is popular, isn't he? God, everyone loves David the Elephant, and I don't blame them one bit. Hey, there we go. So hopefully their new friendship will cheer David up after the Queen sadly rejected him. Then Steve Harvey wanted to be friends with Eric Cartman, and that went well. I then wrestled Luigi to the ground and he gave me a bouquet. Thank you, Luigi. And after leveling Michelle Obama up, I gave her a very fitting catchphrase, something that I'm sure she still says all the time to this day. Can I get in trouble for that? Oh, and off camera, this happened. I beat Mario at his own game and he gave me a diamond. It's worth 500 quid, thanks Mario. The next day, Luigi wanted to be friends with Zendaya. It's always everyone going after Zendaya. Which unfortunately went down well. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, David's still level one. Because he got really sad because the queen rejected him. How's he and the queen doing? Uh, they're still sort of friends. I don't really know anything about Joe Biden. What do you think about me and Joe Biden? Uh, you are a match made in heaven. No, I'm really interested. <laughs> and after adding a default male, a default female, and Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Nintendo, he then also wanted to be friends with Zendaya. Why do so many people like Zendaya? Back off! I want to be friends with Zendaya. Oh, this bitch. Another one. Another man to add to your collection, eh, Zendaya? Uh... Princess Peach then wanted to be friends with Donald Trump, and I think I put it best. I want to be friends with <laughs> What a duo. And they made friends, instantly. I then witnessed one of the cringiest rap battles of all time. What is this? Why am I rapping Trump? <laughs> what is this? My words age like cheese, or a very fine wine. If flu was a crime, I'd be paying a fine. Don't celebrate that, that was shit. Oh. I'm the modern bar. Quick, hand me my quill. Oh, yeah. Jack, your shit. The next day, after I accepted all of the Islanders' very generous donations, I then learned that I had a fight 
with Waluigi. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so mad about something. Okay. I had a fight with Waluigi. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh no. Please help me calm down. <laughs> oh bless him. But after drinking a lovely cup of tea. I went and made up with him because I'm the bigger person. Not literally, he's like seven foot five, but y you know what I mean. I'm sorry too. Hey, we're best mates again. Jolly good. What? What was that? Michelle Obama then made friends with Peach, who really cares. But then a more interesting friendship involves David the Elephant with Peter Griffin. How does he know where the door is? And would you look at that? It worked. Nice. A few days ago as well, the Queen gave me a very expensive looking vase off camera, so I then sold the diamond and the vase and got nearly a grand and I bought a lot of interiors with it. You know what, I'm gonna buy a bunch of rooms. Everyone's rooms look so bland, I want people to have really nice looking rooms. Wow, I really don't get on with anyone, do I? Everyone hates me. <laughs> I can't maintain a friendship to save my life, apparently. I then wrestled myself and won. But I guess I also technically lost. I, I, I don't know. Go on. Hey, he died. Right, have the epic purple room. Yeah. Thank you for the great new room. I really like it. Hey, and he loves it. Nice. Then Ariana Grande asks for a camera, which no one's ever asked for before. So I thought, why not? And she took this beautiful photo. I don't know what Steve Harvey's doing. Do you guys want to see what happens if I give Luigi a paella? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game's something else. And I was going to end the episode there. I hadn't started editing yet or recording this part, but I thought, okay, that's enough. I've done it for a week now. Let's just crack on. But then, after I was just checking in on them one night, this happened. I was just playing Tomodachi Life, just like, you know, feeding everyone, just getting money, etc. Just playing some games, just kind of like progressing the world so we could get more loves. And then I saw that Jack, me, had like the orange symbol next to him, which usually means friendship. But on a rare, rare, rare occasion, it can mean a love-based thing as well. So I clicked it, and I didn't record this part, which is why I've just recorded now. But he said that he thinks that Dr. Phil needs a girlfriend. How about setting them up with Zendaya? And I'm not about to twist fate, so I'm going to say good idea. Then I'll have to get them to meet each other. Oh... What is he wearing, man? Okay, they're talking. They seem to be enjoying each other's company. Oh, that's me being all sneaky in the background. They're enjoying each other. Oh god, I remember how this works. They need to enjoy everything in order to become a relationship, and they're enjoying this. I think there's a cafe scene after this, and if they talk during this, they are- Oh my god, it's actually gonna happen. Oh my god, Dr. Phil's gonna steal my- my girlfriend. Oh my god, it actually worked. I had fun. Let's go out again sometime. <laughs> I actually don't know what to say. My little plan worked. Genuinely, I don't know what to say. Zendaya's just forever going to be my... My best friend. Yep. Zendaya, yep. And if we go to uh, Zendaya's room. Come back from your part-time job, Zendaya. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Special someone talked to <laughs> And she hates me! <laughs> Zendaya hates me! Oh my god! Zendaya hates me! <laughs> she hates me and she's in love with Dr. Phil! I'm ending the episode there. I'm ending it there. Yes! 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 Okay, never mind. Never mind. Video's not over. No! 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 Fuck! Shit! 
Shigeru Miyamoto has a love heart. Uh, it's 3am, that's why I'm being really quiet. Don't ask why I loaded up this game at 3am. Wait, who are even his female friends? It's Ch Zende- Zendaya's with Dr. Phil, mate. You're gonna get your heart shattered. Oh, oh no. I mean, I'm gonna... <laughs> I want to say I don't do it, but he's going to get sad regardless. What if Zendaya leaves Dr. Phil? Um... Um... Sing. Don't sing. Act desperate. Where should I tell them? Where should you tell them? Um... Should I get changed first? Yeah, let's get you changed. Um... Oh, okay, yeah, uh, I don't have anything... Okay, just remove the hat, mate. She doesn't need to see you in that strawberry hat. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm going to tell them. Go on, Miyamoto. <laughs> I reckon she's not even going to show up. Oh wait, she's there. But she's going to be like, I'm dating Dr. Phil. Sorry, mate. I've been watching you from here for so long. You've got to go out with me. He's on his knees. Bless him. Hold on a minute. Is that me? It's Steve Harvey! <laughs> Bro, she's she's with Dr. Phil. Nobody loves you more than me. Oh my god. No way, I love you the most. I don't know what to say. Hold on a minute. Who's this? It's Wano! <laughs> Everyone's in love with Zendaya. Yeah, yeah, he said it! He said it! But she already has a boyfriend. Who do you choose, Zendaya? She's with Dr. Phil. What is this? She's with Dr. Phil. She's just going to reject all three of them, and all three of them are, are, are going to be sad. I'm sorry, none of you. Well, yeah, she's got a boyfriend, mate. Ah, oh, and they all, and they, uh, alright, okay, gather around, family suicide. <laughs> now he's also, oh, bless him. <laughs> oh, Miyamoto. <laughs> no, it's sadness, Misa. Oh, bless him. Well, we'll leave him to be depressed. That poor bastard. Wait, is Walu Waluigi's fine? He's fine, mate, Steve Harvey's fine. They're not sad. They couldn't care less. I think I'm really good friends with Zendaya. What do you think about me and Zendaya? You don't- you just confessed your love for her. What do you mean really- I mean, you're perfect, That's clearly. I, I- This game is- is weird, man. Right, here's the actual outro. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna start editing this now. I'm not gonna play anymore, I'm gonna start editing it. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the next one. This is gonna be my quietest bye ever. Bye! <laughs>